group Elders of Destiny. If you guys looking for a place to check out for information, you know, um, you're an older gamer, you hate all the drama, come check out Elders of Destiny on uh, on Facebook. We're uh, we're uh, pretty laid back, no drama, no talking crap to each other. People are allowed to vent. People are allowed to you know say what they want without any repercussions. Not allowed in the group. If someone wants to complain and then you say, well, toughen up, noob, or get good, nah, that, that's not allowed in our group. So, Elders of Destiny, um, <clears throat> great group. But I'm about to share this um, post here. So, today, what I'm going to do is, I'm sure 99% of you guys know how to farm the forge. But um, I was actually in the group not long ago, and people still do not know how. Um, what you're going to be doing, and this is only available until Shadow Keep, because once Shadow Keep hits, everything goes up to 750. All your power, all your guns, everything in your vault. So personally, I highly recommend it. do not infuse anything. Just play um, <laughs> your armor that you have now. Don't infuse anything. Don't infuse your guns. I mean, unless they're guns that you really, really, really like, you know? Because I mean, heck, look at my guns. I still play with with uh, year one guns. Um, scout rifles are going to get a buff. So I always carry, you know, the Nameless Midnight. Do have some great rolls on it. Triple tap, range finder. Um, and then, of course, I'm going to play with my Uriel's Gift. Um, my QBO, which has Dragonfly, and I do believe Rampage. Sleeper's always my, you know, my main weapon. So, um, but I've been 750 for a while now. Uh, what I am going to explain in this video on farming a forge, which I'm sure, like I said, I'm sure a lot of you already know how to do, but some of you do not. Oh, you can only do this before Shadow Keep. Okay, this is an easy farm. It's a set it and walk away from it. You don't have to stay and play the game for hours and hours and hours. What you're going to do is you're going to go into the, the forge with certain armor on, and you're just going to put your controller down. And you're going to turn your TV off. Make sure you turn off your power saving mode on your, your controller. So that uh, your controller doesn't die, of course. Because, um, like, you know, it'll turn itself off after, like, ten minutes or whatever. So you're going you're gonna to turn that off so the controller never turns off. And the, play, and the uh, PlayStation never turns off. And I'm going to show you step-by-step step what you need to do. What you need to do... First and foremost, sorry, what was, this is why you're going to farm. After the update, they've already verified that you're going to need weapons, materials, legendary shards, masterwork cores. These right here, legendary shards. You're going to need as many of these as you can get. Okay? You're going to need a bunch of these. And, and this month I plan on probably farming quite a bit um, before the update. Um, I've already farmed probably a, a couple days um, and you're also going to need these enhancement cores. Okay? You're also going to need gunsmith materials. I suggest once you hit 999, you put these in the vault. You start all over again. Just keep farming these. Um, they talked a little bit about um, uh, mode components. Not 100% sure on that. If you're going to need them, but might as well farm them anyway, so go ahead and get those bounties from, uh, from, uh, what's his nuts up here? Oh, uh, what is his name? Banshee. <laughs> go ahead and get those Banshee bounties. But, um, if you do not know how to farm this for the for do the Ford for the Forge farm, and you've never heard of it, let me show you what to do. Currently, I already have armor that's going to put me below 300. That's the main thing that you need to do. Get you some armor and some guns to where when you load this stuff up, you are below 300. Okay? This is the main, main key to this. Okay? I'm well below 300. Why you have to be below 300 is because the forges, I do believe, are 600. <clears throat> but when you're below 300, <clears throat> it matches you up. Excuse me. <clears throat> it matches you up with uh, with other people that are your light level that are also farming. But if you look up here, <clears throat> she always has some green. Always. 
Um, 200, 200, 200. So if you don't have any armor, it'll put you in that 300 range. She always has it. You might have to wait another day at reset to soon. get more armor to take you below that, but you'll always know that she will always have 200 armor. Okay. Then all you do is we're going to load up. You can either go to... Uh, hold on a second. Excuse me. i got to clear my throat here. So you're going to load up... Uh, the uh, European Dead Zone. And uh, go to, you know, the Bergusia Forge, which I think it's kind of a pain in the butt to get to, personally. I just hate driving all through this and then killing all the enemies and, uh, and then putting on my lower gear and then starting the forge. Now, if you need these materials, you go ahead and do that. Um the extra materials. I always save, I'm trying to save a thousand of each material. Uh, so if you don't have, you know, a, th uh, a thousand of the, uh, you know, the, de the dusk light shards, you might go ahead and go in there and farm and, and get some extra. Um, or the data lattice. So that's, since I, uh, since I have a thousand of everything, pretty much, I go to the easiest forge which is going to be on Nessus. Okay, and I'm just going to go right here to Artifacts Edge. We're going to spawn in there. Of course, it's going to spawn an event because I have my lowest armor on and you will get wrecked immediately if any enemy hits you. I might have to put my higher armor on. But like I said, the purpose of this is to build up those materials. Now, once you are in the forge, I'm going to show you. It's going to spawn you in with people of your same light. Always. It won't match you in, so you don't have to worry about somebody going in and trying to kill people. Everybody you're going to spawn in with is going to be your level, and no one's going to be fighting. Now, the reason that this works is because before you get kicked out to orbit, the game ends, starts a new game, you know, because normally if you sit still in uh, in orbit, or I mean in, uh, in a strike or something, after about a minute and a half, It'll boot you out, you come back from getting some chips or peeing or whatever you're doing, and it says, are you still there? You've been removed. Well, this doesn't get the chance to do that because the game is so short, and then you get killed so fast. So when you're spawned in, you're going to be spawned in. The people of your power, no one's going to be moving. It's going to run through the, the system, and it, or run through the, the progress, and at the end, when you die and it goes to black screen, you are going to see you get four material right at the very end. So, we're going to show you that real quick. And what you do after, and then I'm going to walk you through everything so here. Fail safe. What are the odds now what you're going to do after you as get these materials, after you get as many as you want, like I said, what I do is I'll start this farm up just like this. I'm going to go in just like this. And I am going to go in here, I'm going to start the forge, and I'm going to leave my system on, my controller, which I then plug into a power source, right? Take your controller, you know, plug the power source into the uh, PS4 so it doesn't die when you're gone. And uh, <clears throat> you're just going to turn the TV off and you're going to walk away and go to work for eight hours, or however long, or two days. Sometimes you do have to check back with this every once in a while, because um, sometimes you will get booted in Return to Orbit. It's happened to me a couple times to where I just, I got booted um, and returned to Orbit, and I was like, what the heck? So if, <clears throat> how that usually happens is, while a game is going, someone leaves the fire team, and it just boots everybody back to Orbit, and you got to start it all over again. So it is good to check it roughly every five or six hours to make sure it's you're still farming. Uh, another really good way to check if you're at work and you don't know because you can't come in and turn your TV on and make sure you're still farming is pull up your app, your Destiny app um, on your phone and go to um, vendors under your Destiny app on your companion. So if you go to your, your, you pull up your companion app and you scroll at the top over to vendors and then say you go to failsafe, which would be, um, you know, who we're doing these for. 
it'll tell you how many faction items to turn in and how many rewards you're available to claim. So if that number keeps rising, you know, then of course you know that the game is still going on and you're still okay. So what I'm gonna show you here is you're gonna load in and watch you'll see nobody moving. Every, see, everybody's low. I'm gonna click on this person here. Oh, he's way too high. And yeah, see there you go. So we're just gonna stand here. Right, I'm gonna run you through one of these just so you guys, you know, aren't completely lost. Which, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory, but um we're gonna get killed right away. I mean look they got question marks over their heads, that's how you know. That's how you know you're you're uh you're doing the right thing because you would not be able to kill them even if you wanted to. Okay. So time remaining in the game, 35 seconds. Um, it's going to do that countdown. And then the game is going to end and it's going to go black screen. If you are going to quit, when you do quit, let this run through. Don't be that butthole that pulls out right now or turns off their game right now because you're going to screw everybody else and you're going to send them back to orbit. This is what I was talking about. That's the only way to get sent back to orbit is to stop playing right now. Okay, if you want to stop playing, go back to orbit first. Wait, wait till it cycles through. Don't be that, don't be that butthole, that rude guy that ruins, you know, ruins everybody else's farm. So you're only going to be able to do this until Shadow Keep. Okay, so we got the completion. Watch top right of the screen. Over there by recommended power. When it goes dark, you're going to see materials drop. Oh, and you get clan XP for being in here. So if you have a character that you don't really play, but you want the clan XP, you get 500 every time. So you can just stand here and get your, your clan uh, XP. But right here, top left of the screen, or top right of the screen, get your materials. Uh, there they go. I think they dropped anyway. So this is where you want to cancel out at. Let me get out of here. Okay, so now I'm going to show you what you, what to do. I'm just going to go hop, change my stuff back just because uh, I uh, I'm just I'm going to turn it off after this. I just wanted to make a very quick quick video to show you guys uh, how to do this. Um, let's see here. Sorry. Hard to talk and do all this crap here. Anyway. So then, if you want, you can just go about playing your normal game. You know, minding your own business here. And uh, then you're going to go back into... Failsafe. <clears throat> where we just mined all these materials at. Okay? So what you get here is Data Lattice. And you're going to go into Exodus Black. Once you get however many you want. Three, four thousand of these materials. And you're going to fly in to the vendor, and you're going to cash those materials in. This is the only time that you're going to be really be wasting, um, wasting your time here. I don't know. My wife's trying to watch me or something here. Okay. So you've done all your farming. You've spent a day or two or a week in the, the uh, in the forge farming these materials. You're now going to take these materials to whichever um, NPC. So it would be Devrin K or Failsafe, because it's the only two places with a forge. And we're going to go up here. And we're going to turn them in. Okay. I'm not going to turn in a bunch because I didn't farm that much. <laughs> so, but every time that you turn... 
Every time that you turn a, uh, a material in, check this out. Hello. You're going to get. Um, uh, I do believe. So. You automatically get one legendary shard. And you get two purples. Automatically. Sometimes you'll even get a master work to drop. Let's do it one more time. Okay. Boom. Get your. You get three. I'm sorry, not uh, not four. Or, yeah, well, that's weird. That's weird. I got seven that time. Usually you get one just for turning w one in. Okay, then you get to go over here and everything she just dropped for you, you get to break down. And you get, boom, three legendary shards. And four gunsmith As materials. You say, Karn, Said if you get, every once in a while you get research. that, you know, that uh, My data stores are yours. master you work have need of them. done, you break that down, you get your legendary shards, and you get a core. So that is going to be how to farm the forges. Okay, if you have any All questions alone. or, um, you know, any problems, let me know. But you can do that until Shadowkeep. Once Shadowkeep drops, you will, you will not be able to do this anymore. So I suggest you start farming now. Anytime that you've got some extra free time or you've got, uh, you know, four or five hours that you're, you're home, but you're not, you know what I mean, or you're going to be gone, just turn your system on, go to your power settings, make sure that they don't turn off, and just farm this thing. You can still watch TV, even if this is your main TV, you know, your main TV is uh, your gaming TV. Just switch your inputs, watch TV, let that system run, and do these farmings, because you're going to need all this stuff. So, uh, hopefully that helped. Um, once again, if you're older and, uh, you know... Like us, a no drama gamer, come join the Elders of Destiny page, um, where we try to keep everybody informed with the latest and greatest updates um, from reliable sources. Um, always trying to help everybody, and uh, please follow me on uh, on YouTube. I'd appreciate it. Any kind of support. So uh, I believe that's it. Hopefully this helped. All right. Jabs out.